Good morning everyone, Pinchel's Garage here, and on today's episode we're back at the Mark II. Now we're going to do something a little fun, a little custom, uh, for a Mark II. Now, the only thing is here, you guys got to be very careful, because these bars or these uh, core supports are very hard to come by, especially if you want an OEM one. Uh, but what we're going to do is that Fabulous provided a really awesome little decorative piece. Uh, actually even better than the factory one because the factory one is actually stamped steel this is actually full-on properly cut steel thicker than the factory stuff so this will actually bolt on really really nice and it will look very good um, so now I actually gotta paint my whole bar now because of this but it gives me a good excuse to sand this down and get it all nicely painted so Let's get to work, everybody, because this is Pinchial's Garage, and we're doing some fabulous manufacturing stuff. give the heads up it's gonna be super loud so be prepared for a lot of noise because right, I'm gonna be using a cutting wheel so this is the part where you want to turn the volume down and just see what we're doing and how we're gonna cut it I took off the headlights to be uh, safe so looks like there's the tack welds right there so, grind those off, cut this off, and then this whole bar should come right off. Alright, let's get to work. Turn your volume down. didn't listen to my rule. I almost cut into that one part. Alright, so now that should be already detached. Just like that. Let's see here where we cut. So now I'm going to cut this little piece across for safe measure, just here. And then I'm going to grind those two little weld points right here, if you guys can see that. You can see those like little circles. We're going to grind them on the inside and see if I can take this whole piece off as one solid piece. All right, here we go. Turn your volume down. last piece the two little weld spots now what's not smart to do when we're doing this process you see how this is all loosey-goosey we don't want that we want uh, to take this piece off as a whole so 
we don't damage this bar right here. So, because this bar is pretty much what centers this uh, with this piece right here for you nicely. So we're going to grind really lightly. Turn your volume down, as always. Grinding it down a little bit, you're gonna grab a flathead screwdriver. Give me a second, I'm gonna go grab one really quick. Get your flathead screwdriver, you're gonna gently go underneath and give it a little, little tug. Now, I see that the welds are still there, so I'm gonna go back in there and do some more cutting. point here is not to do as much to do the least amount of damage as possible and you'll see here you see the curve it's hard to tell but there's a little curve right here that's where the weld is at that's what we're trying to break off keep your volume down guys one is the next one Closer. You guys can see exactly what I'm trying to do. And you see here, we got one already, number two. There's two more. Just repeat the process until you're done and then let you get that whole bar, this whole piece off without damaging anything. Pretty cool. Just like that, and bars to come apart. Now I went a little too deep on the one side, but this side you'll see here went too deep, but it got it off quickly. Over here is taking my time, and you'll see there's still chunks here. So we want to grind those off as smooth as possible. 
and then get ready to do the bar install really quick and then we're going to sand this whole whole piece down and we're going to paint it nicely so it looks good in the bay so now you can see a quick comparison of the old one and the new one and we have the factory hole here so we'll use that to line this up once we have it lined up then we'll be able to drill our holes uh, accordingly so we can make everything fit nice and snug so the next part of this DIY is actually getting this sucker to line up correctly so you can't go on top because it doesn't work that way so you have to go down under and over just like that that's why this bar is actually curved here to accommodate for that bend to get this guy in so we're gonna get now we have that and since the bar is threaded, you can't just put this on top because it won't tighten. You got to go down below. And then get this guy. So once we have that, I'm going to get this guy as, as close as I can to the to the frame and use the frame as the alignment tool. So now that I have this lined up as good as I can, before you actually drill in the holes, go take this inside to your bay and line up your part here. Very, very vital uh, to your bolt pro bolt in process because. If this part doesn't line up, then you're going to drill a bunch of holes for no reason. So, so you're going down and over. And then what we want, look down here. And since I put this snug, this shouldn't move anything at all. So, this is the bar. Yeah, pretty much we're on point. Easy peasy. And that looks super cool. Now my guess is that it, it goes in on the front of this because that piece is threaded. So it goes in like that. There we go. So you'll see here, you got to make sure this is mounted on the front. Because it's threaded on this side, so you gotta bolt it in this way. So once you get all that take sorted out, that looks pretty freaking cool. I love it. Very, very cool piece. Very impressed with it. I just gotta cut this down more so it looks a lot cleaner um, and get this bolted in correctly because we need this nice and lined up there we go so that looks very very cool I can't wait to get this all uh, painted and color matched to the bay so that looks really good and complete but I'm loving this already thanks again fabulous manufacturing for a very cool piece easy DIY uh, again, just drill out your holes accordingly. Do not um, line this up based off how it lines up here. You're going to use this frame, this line. This is your straight edge. So that's going to be your alignment right there, guys. So don't change that. Um, it should line up beautifully once you have it done. Ah, but you guys get the quick picture. Alright, thanks again everybody for watching this episode of Pinchy Al's Garage. And as always, we're going to break, fix, and repeat. Peace out everyone.